I have here a really simple scene. I'm just using this avatar style component from the asset library. And I want to create a button to let the user turn it on and off as they please. So the first thing I'm going to do is in the objects panel, I'm going to go ahead and add a helper script and I'm going to choose behavior. Now, once this adds, I'm going to select it and uh, we already want the touch event for tap and for the response type, I'll do set enabled for the target. We're going to choose our avatar style and I will do toggle. So if it's on, I can tap, it'll turn off and I can tap, it'll turn on and so on and so forth. Now we're halfway there. Now we just need to add a button. Now I'm going to go ahead and import an image that I just found off the internet. So I'm just gonna drag this into my resources panel. Uh, here's our image. And so I'm going to create a new screen image and I'll set the texture to that image that I found. Now you might notice that our avatar is going through the circle. That's because this custom component, the render order is zero. Our image is also under order zero. So I'm going to change this to one and now we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in and let's just adjust this button. So it's not taking up the whole screen. All right, so now you might notice here this full frame region. Now uh, we want to select this. Usually you don't need to change this for things, but for button, you want to make sure it's not going to be covered up by anything. So what you want to do is do safe render. Now this will restrict the area in which you can put the image. Now make sure it's never covered up by the stuff here or down here, no matter the device. And so now I can place this image wherever I want within this full frame region. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it here. All right. So um, I can tap the button, but you can also see I can tap anywhere and it is still affecting this effect. So I'm going to come back to my behavior script and on this touch target, I'm going to select that new image I brought in. And now if I tap here, nothing happens. If I tap my button, now we're getting this effect. So that is a really quick way to just create a button. But let's say you don't want to use the behavior script. Maybe you have some other script that is doing some other complex stuff. So let's disable this and let's create our own script for uh, tapping stuff. So let's create a script. Let's open it in the built-in editor. Let's just print something out for now. So let's just say, hello. All right, so I'm gonna select this same behavior script and go ahead and add a new component here. Let's choose script and let's choose our new script. And let's go ahead and instead of running on awake, let's go ahead and do tapped. So now if I tap, all right, so I'm tapping, I'm not seeing anything and that's because you see this little circle up here. I forgot to save my script. So I'm just gonna do control S with my mouse inside or command S if you're on the Mac. Now, if I tap, you should see the word hello printed out. And each time I tap uh, this little number, it might be hard to see that's going to be going up. All right, so that's working. Um, so let's go ahead and have it toggle our effect here. So I'll just do at input scene objects. We'll do style and we'll say style dot, oh, sorry, script dot style dot enabled gets not script dot style dot enabled. This is just a little bit of logic. So if it's enabled, it's going to just give it the opposite of that. So let's save our script. Now over here, we can choose our avatar style. Now, if we tap, we are once again toggling it. All right, so this is the same as a behavior script. So how can we run the script only when this button is tapped? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, let's remove this script here. I'm going to delete it. And instead, I'm going to select my button. So I'm going to add component. Let's select script. I'm going to choose that script for our style. Let's assign that avatar style. And we want to change this on awake to on tapped. All right, so now I can keep tapping, but I can do it anywhere on the screen, not just on the button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come add another component and I'm going to choose interaction. And now if I tap, you see that this is not changing, but if I tap my button, it works. So if you want to use your own script, all you gotta do is make sure you add it to whatever image you're using for the button, then also add this interaction component that will restrict the tapping to just the button. So now that we have our button working, um, there's just one nice little effect I like to add. So I'm gonna come up and add a tween manager script. 
All right, so here's our train manager. I'm just going to open that up, delete the examples, and let's move the tween manager up to the top so that it is the first thing to initialize in our scene. I'm going to select the screen image again, and I'm going to add yet another component, also a script. And this one, I'm going to do a tween, tween type, tween transform. I don't want it to run on awake. I want this to also be tapped. And I can leave the scene object blank. It'll just default to whatever it's attached to. I want it to scale. Uh, so let's say we'll set our initial scale to one. And let's scale down to something like 0.8. And we will do a ping pong once. And for our easing function, maybe a bounce. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to tap my button. And you can see it kind of bounces like a button. It's a little slow, so let's change this time to like 0.2. Now if I tap my button, we get that nice little animation and our effect is changing. Uh, so feel free to play around with that, but I love adding this um, tween to my button to make it feel a little more like it's a button doing something.